uh, Sarah Dunant, thank you for being here uh, in Matera. We would like to know, as an historian, was it hard to write fiction about a period uh, you know so well? Well, when I started researching this period, which is um, the kind of end of the first flowering of the Renaissance in Florence, the fall of Lorenzo de' Medici and the rise of Savonarola, I didn't know it very well. I was a historian by trade, but it wasn't a period that I knew very well. So my first excitement came from just learning about it. And that was a, a wonderful experience because it was um, in. in it's an incredibly rich period, and you have to do a lot of work to make it come alive. Um, the tension that then happens with being a fiction writer is that although you know all the facts of what happened during this period, uh, you then have to create a story, and it is a story which you make up, which didn't happen. And the reason that you need a story is, first of all, because I wouldn't have the the, the chutzpah, the guts to write about real people. So, um, what was so special about Renaissance Florence? <laughs> How long have you got? <laughs> um, uh, it, it, is, it was a cultural revolution. It was a cultural revolution. And a great deal of what we perceive as modernity had its seeds and roots in there. It was a revolution in the way we thought about how man related to God. It was a revolution in the way we thought about history and classicism. It was a revolution in how we could actually physically put paint onto canvas or on the walls, how we represented the world around us. It was in terms of intellectual history, in terms of commercial and economic history, because there was a great deal of wealth, and in terms of artistic history, it was like a watershed. Nothing had ever happened like it before, and nothing quite ever happened like it afterwards. You are writing another book about Venice. Are you going to use the same themes that you use in The Birth of Venus? No, The Birth of Venus is about a young woman struggling to find a place for herself, an educated young woman. Venice is about um, a very different kind of city and a very different kind of woman. And the book is about the culture of courtesans in Venice during a period when Venice is the ruler of the Western Mediterranean when she's incredibly powerful. Not that later period of a sort of watery, romantic city. This is the place when the city really is one of the most important cities of Europe, and it's about this young woman and how she works there. Thank you very much.